it's Samantha and this is part two of the video that I just started with the little Sammy with licorice image. And so I'm going to put my card together and I'm going to show you one of the new die cuts. Um, I have the SVG file available for these. This is from Bold Sentiments 2 which is the holiday stamp set. And I made all of these little shapes so they perfectly coordinate with the stamps. So I'm going to show you how to use it here in a second. But first, since all of my pieces on my card are this creamy color, I'm going to airbrush this piece of white. So to do that, I need a mini glue dot. I'm just going to stick it on the back here and stick this down to my uh, piece of scrap paper. And I'm going to turn my airbrush machine on. I've got the big air compressor. So it's kind of loud. And I'm going to use E31, the same one I was using to airbrush the Sammy background. I want this to blend in with my card. Let me zoom in a little bit. You guys can see. Let's test it out. Okay, I'm plugged in correctly and I'm just going to airbrush over the whole thing just to make it a creamy color. easy. If I cut out a bunch of them in white, and you don't always need white. Oh, I just wanted to make it different. And I'm, okay, so I have the Merry Christmas stamp that coordinates with this cut. And I'm just going to stamp it. And the great thing about SP and Company stamps is they're clear, so you can line things up pretty easily with them. Just have to eyeball it. Make sure I'm on the screen, and I'm going to have to look really closely because I'm on the side and I don't want it to be too crooked. See? And I think I did pretty good for being on the side and having the video camera in my way. So, peel it off. I've got one of those glue dots so it's really strong. Don't want to rip anything. Okay. Oh, it's it's pretty lined up. It's a little bit off the center um, from side to side, but uh, if you didn't have a video camera in your way, I'm sure you guys could do a lot better. I've got my card layers. Um, this is a piece of paper from the Seasons Greetings Echo Park collection. I just cut it 4 by 5.25 so it fits on a regular card. This is Vintage Cream Cardstock by Paper Tray Ink. And then you already saw me make my image. So I'm just going to assemble my card. I've got some craft glue dots. They're the half inch glue dots. I'm going to use it in every corner here. And I think for the card base, four will be fine because I'm also going to tie ribbon around it. So I don't have to put any glue dots in here to try to hold down the middle or anything. These things are strong, so it doesn't take very many. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you could hear that. There's a cat right outside the window meowing. But if you guys heard that, you guys are probably going to be laughing. We have a lot of cats around this area. Okay. Got that. And I want to tie some ribbon. This is some satin ribbon by Stampin' Up. It's one of my favorite ribbons. redo it. I might redo it anyway. The one piece is bothering me. Sometimes it takes 
a lot of fiddling to get the bow just right. At least for me, it takes me a while. I'm just going to cut off this other end. I like to cut it at a diagonal. And this one's a little bit too long. Okay. I've got my bow. And I'm going to attach my little Sammy image. And I'm going to use six glue dots for this because um, with the embossing that I did, it's kind of curling up. I don't want it to be all curly. I stick it down to my card. So I'm going to do two on the middle sides. So. getting glitter everywhere. I think it's all over my table already. Okay. I'll make sure all the little corners aren't pointing up so much. Okay. Put my bow up a little bit. And then I need some more mini glue dots for this one. I just want this one to stick down really well. And there's all these little small places. Ooh, I think I just smudged it. I might have smudged it earlier without realizing it. So I put four more glue dots since that little one, that middle one's not very sticky. And so let's see where I want the sentiment. Kind of wanted it down here. I don't want it running off the page. We'll do it to the side. There we go. There you have it, my card, pretty much from start to finish. Thanks for watching. Bye.